how's it going guys? Daddy here and today we are gonna be playing the episode 4 of Alan Wake. So let's just get into it right away. Okay, loading I street. felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Okay. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Huh. Oh. We could actually move the chair. Haha. <laughs> oh. I heard something. So somebody opened the door. Huh. Oh. Good hey, evening, there. Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Oh. Right, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Yeah, okay. Let's go for a walk. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Mm. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Oh. This well, way, Alan. What do we need to get under control? Like, I'm just having a writer's block, man. Okay, uh, yeah, my wife's kidnapped. Oh, well, missing, actually. Well, like, where did the last episode end? Episode 3. Um, I think... Yeah, yeah, we fell fell down. Like, the black, now, Alan, black woman just threw us with you, I know in I a need tornado to right and shit. into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. And we almost so I'm crown. just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very <laughs> vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, Ooh. paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Well, that's we what's this way, been Alan. happening I so far. I for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Hmm. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Yeah, tell that to Barry. The fantasy, he believes me. It will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're I a mean, skeptic by nature, Alan. Yeah. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Well, yeah, like, that's way more plausible than, like, I'm fighting against people made of shadows. And the only way to kill them is to, like, first just, well, give them a little bit of light. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cold yeah, lake very foggy. Us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Okay, well... Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. 
After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Yeah, that was a nice, nice walking trip. Well. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. This guy. Sup? Scary, scary, scary. Well, hi there. <laughs> Emerson. Damn, man. You're a completely fucking lunatic, man. Ow. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small today. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. I wonder if he's based on somebody who worked at, with this game in Remedy Store uh, Studios. You have a great singing voice, Grandma. This way. Yeah. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up blank, it, you should continue. Huh. My rheumatism oh. is killing me. It's those guys. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm! <laughs> there is no I jukebox. We can't put coconut on. And <laughs> these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, Ooh. how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. But they are They're well cared for, TLC the same age. and all that. There's which one is Odin or which one is Thor? Right. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Yeah, oh, but that won't in those chests, they are I'm actually so sorry to cut Thor this short for now, Alan. The power is acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Hmm. Don't you think? That's... I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? I bet he's it old in. Crazy to know because Thor crazy. always has his hammer. That's the, the same thing I've the heard in a while. Wink hammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we need to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was mm. lying to me about so, everything. Oh, Crazy here, or not, I think. the Andersons made more sense. 
<laughs> yeah, well, y you might have some issues then if those guys make more sense than a freaking doctor. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. Something's gotcha. wrong. Doc's got me I'm not myself. But it's hard to think that there's a shadow yeah. inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but Hello. it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. Who the hell said that? Huh. Well, let, let's write then. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Yeah. Sure. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Yeah. yeah. Let's fucking leave this place. ASFP. Let's go. Oh, what's this page? How did I miss that before? Brothers, are ya? Not so weak now. Are we? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tale. Well, the crazy old thought hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's nah, goons, nah, she had it coming. Nah, nah, nah. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. The backstage well, is all yours, Tom. I had to get to Save Hartman's office. Destiny. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Where is Hartman's Come office? Probably here. Come on, open. Open the lock. There we go. And here. Okay. Do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to split. Barry? Ooh, hey Barry. Ah, about time. Barry. Man, am I glad to see you. We yeah. need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean Oh. I hate that he like if you already These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Yeah, if you input the comment, it will just skip the dialogue and go into a cutscene. It's Alan, please. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Where the hell did he ah, get the gun? Oh well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Up with a smile. Not psychopathic at all. The but where the hell did we get the gun? The I had to find a way out. Okay, let's escape. Oh, this door was. Oh shit! Yeah, let's not go there. Okay. Come on! Oh shit, the darkness is actually coming closer. Oh. Really? I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves I... out of my way. Fuck me. Okay. Where is light? 
Ah, fuck, dying. Where? <gasps> fuck me. Okay. like I have a new mic and it's blocking a little bit of my screen so I can't see everything that's going on. Okay. Let's go up here then. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Uh, I see. I see what, what I need to do. Oh. Oh, come on. I needed to do probably yeah okay oh I need to keep doing this okay okay easy probably just run now nope 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 what the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Here. What the fuck? Jesus. Oh, oh, no, no. So I'm supposed to do this with one flare? What the? Yeah, that... Oh, we can... There's more flares. Thank God. Thank God for that. Hey, I can't... Really see anything. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Where do I go? Where do I go? Like, again. Oh shit. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Come on. Come through. You can do it, Paul. You can do it. Shit. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it. I'm right here. Fook. And now run. Run, bitch. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, sh. What the fuck? No, oh, not there. Not there. Not there. Oh, don't tell me I have to. Okay. Come at me. Come at me. Yeah. Yeah. Ram that door down. You can do it. Oh, shit. That was fast. I'm right here. Yeah. Still right here. Come on. Yeah. Damn, you have a bad aim. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's just run them. What the fuck? 
does so much freaking damage. Easy. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a life. Coffee. Take this, Al. Oh, thank God. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look out! Oh, oh, oh! Shit! I did not see that. Jump here. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna suck. A hedge maze. That seems always a good idea. Brilliant. Okay. Well, I have my flashlight. Oh! Nope. Oh! Yep. I fucking knew. I freaking knew that somebody was coming from behind me. Okay. Um. Don't trust Emil. Okay, let's not tr trust Emil then. Who's Emil? to be like that, man. Come on, Frank. Come on, Frank. Don't be like that. You're a big motherfucker. Let's well, fourteen now. Let's hope it's enough. Oh god damn it, I had flares as well.
Come on, man. Out of ammo, are you kidding me? Just like this. Like No. Oh. Good aim, good aim. <sighs> One bullet left. Yeah. Not even intense. Nah, easy, easy. Why is this game so easy? Dude, that's not cool. That is not cool. Two bullets on this gun and one bullet on my revolver. Oh, freaking out of batteries as well. I do have one, one flare, but let's save that. Okay, revolver ammo. tired of your shit guys real tired of it flare go ammo go 
Gott. This is starting to look a little bit better now. Do I go here? Yeah. Okay. More flares. A lot of stuff here. Maddie is creep. This has to be a trigger. Stop. No. Huh. Oh, that's Barry. I have a bad feeling about this. Checkpoint reached. Oh, Barry. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry! I'll find it! Don't worry about it! Oh. Hi there. Oh. Oh shit! He came all the way to the fucking wall. Oh, wrong. Oh. Oh come on! This is not. Yeah, fucking use it then. What the fuckers? Oh, fuck! Bulldozing motherfuckers! Okay, game on, bitches. Game on. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. You there. Yeah, <laughs> great! Quarter! I'm so happy for you, man. Oh, shit! Oh, I missed that one! Ugh. Get the fuck away from me! Here it is! Al, I found the key! Yeah, good. Use it! Please. Like, now. Come on! Yeah! Okay, come on! Run! Oh my god! <laughs> for the nearest you're now oh. leaving bright falls come back soon sign we're going to the anderson farm i knew you were gonna say something like that you know what you owe me big time for this when this is through if we make it i don't care what anybody says i'm done with darkness you're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift and i'm gonna live in it That was intense. Jesus. Ooh. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. 
<laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest... But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry, I can... Al, I... No, listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah! Al, there's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Al! Yeah! Barry, oh. are you alright? Hi, <laughs> Barry. I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? You're gonna have to find Fuck your love, Barry, man. The farm, Al. I'll be waiting! <laughs> Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. This would Ooh. turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Fucking Barry's in the <laughs> So I have no light, no weapon, no nothing. Hi, barrels. Oh, fuck! Motherfuckers! I fucking hate these things. Come on! Seems a bit obvious. Ah, that is great. So 
we get light here. Um, oh, okay. I see, I see. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> the physics, man. Oh, easy. I could sense oh. the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Convenient? Trust no one in the dark. Huh? Okay. We have zero batteries. Come on. Fuck, 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 fuck. Run, 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 run. Come on! Fuck! Come, come on! Shit, what? I couldn't even control. <sighs> I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Okay, I have a plan. It's not a good plan, but it's a plan. Hi there. Now, come here, please. Maybe. Now run, 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 run. Where was it? Here. Fuck! Okay, we are just running. We are just running. We don't even give a fuck at the moment. Fuck! Come on. Assholes. Oh shit, there is even more! How is this fucking game affair? No! Not that! This! Yes! Follow me. Yeah. Come on. What the fuck? Move, god damn it. Oh. You guys are not not funny. Shit. Stop throwing shit at me. Come up! Oh no, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! No! I'm so stuck in here! Oh. No! Okay, we are running. We, we, we are just running. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Okay, they're so goddamn fast. I have no other choice than to just make a complete run for it. Don't even care. Yeah, hi there. I see you. Gonna take the batteries. Come on, you fat ass. Run, bitch. Fuck. Just talk this out. Like, oh, we are so close. Fuck! Do not, do not hit me! I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon oh. was dangerous, but I had no choice. <laughs> I'm not going out, going out there without my flashlight. 
<sighs> okay. This is easy. This is easy. You can run, you can run. Go! Come on! So close! What the f- Oh! Oh, easy. Now I saw something in the ground here. Now we are gonna go back for it. There was something in here. Nothing. No. Where is it? What the fuck? Am I blind? Come. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess there wasn't. Um, please tell me there. Okay. Yeah. That was. Easy. A car easy. was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Don't worry, Barry will save us. Barry is the man. Yeah, let's take the heavy duty one. I mean, why wouldn't we? Uh, just batteries, come on, give me an axe, anything. Something for self defense. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. seen glimpses of light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. In a suit? Huh. Maybe Thomas Sade? I guess. Makes sense. Who the hell puts this many freaking bear traps everywhere? This is a goddamn minefield. Okay, we have some flares, so... I am... Gun! Oh. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. What the hell does that say? Darkness to take and... and field. Taken and field. With darkness. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, I think we have to go there, but I want to know if there is... Anything I can use here. Batteries, guns. Fuck off, man. I didn't really want to use any bullets yet, but. Okay, 
and there is nothing here. This was just a waste of time and bullets. Cause that's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it. if I lure you into that trap. What? Oh, so... Come on! Haha! <laughs> Haha! <laughs> okay, so I can't use the traps for my advantage at all. Oh. Yeah. What the f Where did you come from? What you gonna do now, huh? What you gonna do now, huh? That's right. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! What are you? What is? Ah, no, don't! I'm sorry. Ah, 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 ah. Barry, you okay, man? Okay, so it's this one. Oh. I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again. For the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friends suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway Sorry. uh where's Barry I've run through every possible course in my head if I continue like the dark presence wants me to the story I'm writing won't save Alice it's a horror story and it's going to kill her and me and everybody in this town no one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Was that just a confirmation that Zane is the light? Light guy. Ooh. Okay. Motherfucker! Oh, oh, don't, 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 don't. 
What the fuck are you scared me? Did I die for that? Oh. Let me guess. Danny, huh? Well, it's Danny no more. The front door was locked. Let's jump out of the window then. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Hi, Rudolf. Flashbang. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's just the door. Let's go out for a drive then. If Barry wasn't oh. up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Yeah, Barry is awesome. Oh, uh, well, this way maybe. Way maybe. What the fuck? <laughs> Go. <laughs> How does that feel? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess I have to walk from here. Oh, that felt good. Me. Oh, oh, hi. There's a lot of people here. Well, I don't really know if I can call them people. Come on, okay, yeah, I, I just need to run. I'd known the brothers used so to be some kind of rock good. stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Oh. Ow! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! Ah! Hell yeah! Oh, yeah. 
decided to go it alone. Hell yeah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Dude! Almost did bad! Come on! Come on! <laughs> no! Oh, 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 oh. oh freaking bad on, man! Oh. Hell yeah! So glad you decided to go it alone. Shut up Fuck. and shoot! Ow! We have to fight them all! I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stuck! Oh. Al, hold on! Let's get the stage lights on! Yo, dude. What's up? What's up? Oh no, you don't. Hell yeah. This is awesome. I want some ammo now. Oh, oh fuck. Dude, where did you come from? You're not allowed on the stage, man. I heard you. You didn't scare me. Yeah, exactly. Better run, bitch. Oh. Fuck me. <sighs> I'm so glad you decided to go it alone. It's actually easy. Dude, Ow, really easy. We have to fight them all. I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out. Oh. Nope, you are not allowed on the stage, man. Motherfuckers always got behind. Come on! <laughs> Fucking love this. Oh, 
shit! You're not kidding, but... Come on! What the fuck? These assholes coming behind me. That's the problem. Checkpoint, thank god! Dude, there was somebody coming. Oh, hell yeah! Now that's what I call a freaking stage performance. <laughs> hell yeah! That was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. <laughs> oh, that. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> uh, damn, that was good. It was freaking awesome, man. Ah, oh, by far my favorite part of the See, game so far. Best seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Yep. Okay. Jump! Jump! Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if <laughs> I don't get my way, I'm so all day long. I'm always Fuck you, Barry. Moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. <laughs> I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. Do you want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? That actually pretty cool. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Sleep. We all spend oh, a third of our nice dreams soft and rich. Somewhere between fantasy and Hey, oblivion. remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your hunting episodes? rifle? I don't even have a hunting rifle, man. There must be one somewhere in here. At least I hope so. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones. He explores the Come on. dreamscape. Oh, okay. Could be here. Hunting rifle. Where are you? Oh well. Let's go check the upstairs then. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Oh. Let's just check here, right, real fast. Come on, give me a hunting rifle. Maybe there was one in the... On the stage, but I just couldn't find it. Good going, Al. Hi. Sorry, I'm 
here to check your tickets. Oh, fuck me. Why are you like this? One of these guys. Oh. Okay, <laughs> fucking glitch now. This is going too fast. Come on, stop hiding. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking glitch, man. <laughs> I think we can make it through here, Al. Where are you? Hmm. True. Where? Where the hell is Barry? <laughs> you dumb fucks. did you get here? Okay. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. They are fucking crazy in an ass house. Al. Be careful, Al. That came straight from the heart. Thank you, Barry. What oh, What the... How do you like that flare, man? Oh, shit. You just don't give a... Fuck! Just didn't give a flying fuck about the flare, man. Whoa. Got them Terminator. Ooh. 
already have one. Have one heavy duty lantern. As you deal. regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you? Here for us is almost a busy I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the gate. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Kick. Okay. Again, hunting rifle ammo. But I don't have a rifle. It's kind of dark here. Okay. Um. Defeat that thing. Seems really fun. Come on, come on, come on! Which is where? Probably through here. Oh, oh hmm. over there. This place here? No. Silo key. Okay, so I had to come here anyways. together to open this gate Al. It looks pretty heavy. Ah! <laughs> hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. I think that's the farm over there like. Really? 
You figure that one out yourself. Come on, one more gig. Do this thing. Checkpoint reached. Old cards know the truth. Lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Hmm. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Okay, so where is the fuse box? Come on. Here. This place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Some nice guitars here. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. Kidding? <laughs> Those guys sound awesome. <laughs> coming from that's the message the anderson's talking about that's the whole reason we're here oh it's of the fall oh yeah it's gotta be what's your face the crazy lamp lady from the town cynthia weaver right it must be Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> well, that didn't take too much confidence. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. <laughs> if I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Oh, these guys are awesome, man. Sleeping with your eyes open. the truth a suppressed memory unearthed by the anderson's moonshine i was there an out-of-body observer this was the night alice and i had arrived at bright falls the night alice had disappeared i had a chance to find out what had happened alice? i remember alice. being surprised to see the cabin dark alice would have never turned the lights off what the 
I remember thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Okay. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look in the cabin. Is there someone in the window? No. Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. There's nobody in the window. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind Alice? you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No, I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be my yes. She stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. It's my 
fall. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, it's the FBI guy. Hell yeah! That was so good! And that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. <laughs> the, so far, my favorite episode. By far. By far. So so intense, so insanely good. And the story took a huge leap forward. Um, but yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the episode 5 of Alan Wake next time. So, yada yeah.